what is up people back again thought i'd do something a bit different and do a cargo review because i've really been enjoying this character over the last week he's been released uh played a lot of games with him and i actually think he's a very fun character he is very spe uh, special in the way he plays that he's a rush down counter poke character in my opinion and we don't see that a lot in street fighter the closest we get to him is kind of ken a bit nakali so he's very unique in his own way so if you're a Ken player, you'll probably feel at home playing this character, but he has a bit of more of an intermediate learning curve. So that's why I'm here trying to help you guys a bit out with um, the character and you might be able to do sick stuff like this. Well, to be honest, the connection is pretty, pretty shit. Someone, please clip that. Oh. Do you like that whiff punish? This character has some mad good whiff punish buttons. Oh my god. <laughs> That's unlucky. <laughs> Uh, during this video, I'll be going over some different things about Kage. It's only going to be an overview, so I'm not going to dive completely deep into the uh, character. And I'm not going to try to make this video like an hour long. I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet and very understandable. So during this video, I'm going to be going over his buttons. I'll be going over his specials. I'll be going over his uh, some bread and butter combos so you easily can pick him up in, uh, in online. And I'll be do going a bit over his V-Trigger, even though his V-Trigger is probably still the most unexplored stuff. And they're still very uncertain what is safe and good to do and what is kind of like gimmicky. So I'll be going over, these are the things I'll be going over this video. And yeah, let's just cut right into the how we're going to use his button specials. So let's go over Kage's buttons. Uh, his lights to start with, that's not really much, much to say about them. Um, he has a free frame on his... Uh, and his crouch jab, which is good. It's good that he has that. That means like most of his uh, uh, tools for his lights are fulfilled. If you have a free frame jab, you're pretty good. You're pretty covered. But like, there's no real uh, light button that really shines out as being very special. Not like uh, Saket's stand, long, Saket's stand light kick. That's a that's a very good uh, light button. Kagura doesn't really have that. Uh, then we move on to like his uh, medium buttons. Um, and that's where I think the character really shines. He has some really interesting MIDI buttons, in my opinion. Uh, in general, he has some very interesting buttons that is very similar to Oni's uh, Ryu Ryu's buttons from Street Fighter 4. Um, first of all, this button is amazing at uh, just counter hit poking. In the, if you think your opponent's gonna do something, and you want a button that is a bit faster, this button is amazing for like just buffering, oh, for just buffering in neutral like that. So when you get when they hit them, because it has it has a lot of like nice uh, active frames, so it's easy to fish for counter hits with it. Um, this button, excellent poke, really nice poke. It's a bit of a wonky animation, but it can be used really well. So it's just in general like a nice poke if you just need it. I wouldn't use it all the time, but it's definitely a tool that can be used. It's a cross medium punch, a very nice uh, pressure tool. If we put it to guard all, it's plus three on block. So it can be very much a bully with it and just push your opponent forward with your fast movement speed and this uh, nice button. Uh, of course you have to be a bit scared of being here with punish but in general it's really nice because it's plus 3 and generally it has a decent range for what we're dealing with with Kage. Then there is his uh, crouch medium kick. Again it's not the most impressive of medium kicks. Um, but it gets the jobs done for what Kage needs to do. It needs to be a low that he can cancel into specials. So if your opponent tries to walk backwards, Kagan can usually keep up with him because of his fast forward movement speed. So he can very well like go forward and annoy his opponent with his slide. So that's like kind of his mediums. He has his overhead, which is kind of special in that he can combo from it from certain setups. And I also think in general, 
if you get a uh, counter hit with it. Yeah, it combos into jab. So you can get combos from it if you get counter hit. Which is very nice. Um, so that's kind of his mediums. In general, I feel like all his mediums are usable on the ground. They, they all have a purpose. They all make sense why they exist. And they are very good for his uh, neutral slash footsie game. Then his hard uh, is uh, his heavy buttons. You already saw me use this in this, <laughs> the small highlight. And his heavy hard punch, heavy punch is an amazing whiff punish tool, in my opinion. It just, like, you saw it being used. It's so fast, and, like, you, you can be so close to the opponent, so you can even fish for counter hits, like, with the stand medium punch, without really uh, being worried about uh, getting hit. So, like, you can buffer into, into Tatsu so close. And when it, if it hits, you get the hard punch Tatsu. So in my opinion, this is an amazing um, whiff punish tool. Like, you can throw it out if your opponent is trying to hit you with buttons and you can try to whiff punish them. And if they miss, it misses and you don't really get anything. But if it hits, you get a kind of you get a very beefy combo and a lot of corner carry. So very good in my opinion. Uh, then there is this, the forward hard punch. Um, in my opinion, this move isn't too great. It has cross counter properties. But in my opinion, like you don't really get a lot from it. It's kind of slow, so you can very easily whiff punish it. Uh, I see people when I played online very often do this, but I don't think it's that good uh, in my opinion because um, on block it's minus 12, and the uh, second part can be ducked. So I don't really like. I'm not much for this button um, in my opinion. I can't really see the use for it. You might be able to find some very beefy cross counter combos in the future, but uh, for now. I'm not the biggest fan. I feel like the stand hard kick, which also is a cross counter button, and it keeps them standing, has a much better use. Uh, it's a bit further. It can be ducked at the first ranges, but for what I use the, this kind of cross counter button for, it don't really matter that much. Like you use this if your opponent likes to throw out a lot of buttons in neutral. Say you are playing against a target that really likes to like press this and this to face for counter hits and whiff punishes. You can kind of just throw this out there and hope for a cross counter. And your opponent doesn't really need to be, um, your opponent's not going to be ducking for that. So in my opinion, this is the better option if you're fishing for a cross counter instead of this one. And in pokes, like, you get a bit further range than this, but, like, it's not that impressive in my opinion. So, um, yeah, I kind of think this button is kind of a bust if you can get the feel of it. Um, then the last button I want to talk about is this one. This button is amazing for um, a counter hit. Like if you are doing a fishing for counter hits, so like doing stuff like this, that's it's kind of good for that. But um, besides that, it's not really that good in neutral and stuff. You see it be used in his combos a lot more. Like it's a very good uh, combo button, but for neutral, it's not really that great. It has a great upward hitbox, so it's a very good anti-air button. And that's where I've used it the most like against a bit more awkward uh, jump-ins. So like if uh, Seiko is doing his uh, command jump, old Seiko is doing his command jump, I like to use this button to hit it out. It very reliably hit out old Seiko's uh, uh, command jump when he did that on me. And I can probably imagine in other cases like that, this button is pretty good. Like maybe Vegas, Barcelona jump, stuff like that. It might be, it's probably really good as an NCI if you're not confident in his um, DP. So that's kind of the ground buttons. So if you move on to the jump buttons again, the light punches, the the light kicks aren't really that like aren't really that impressive. But his medium punch, uh, jump medium punch, is uh, I think it's good. It's a good and air to air and air, um, in my opinion, uh, mostly because it can be cancelled uh, into specials. So like you can get stuff like that. You can get like stuff like that. And if, and if you really read it, you can really get a lot of damage, actually, like stuff like... Um, a lot of corner carry, and just like... Just in general, like, it's one of the better air to air buttons because of that. It has a good forward hitbox, so you're, like, probably guaranteed to uh, hit your opponent before he hits you. Unless he does an air to air button. Uh, so in my opinion, it's one of the better ones if you're looking for an air to air. Then there is the medium kick. Medium kick is very... Uh, it's a good cross-up. It's a good ambiguous cross-up. We're already seeing people finding tech to be able to do these ambiguous 50-50 cross like that. Like that was very ambiguous if that was gonna hit in the front or in the back. So in that way, it's really good in my opinion. But as a pure jump-in button, I don't think it's that good. Um, let me just turn this off. 
as a pure jumping button, the hitbox is kind of wonky if you see like 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 that. You have to press it kind of late uh, for it to hit as a jumping button, and by that time, it's very easy to anti air and stuff. So in my opinion, it's not that good in uh, in that regard. Um, then we have like his command, like his dive kicker. I think it's one of the better dive kicks in my opinion. If you look at Nakali and Akuma's dive kicks, this dive kick is actually very usable. Of course, it's going to be minus if you hit them at the noggin. But in general, it's one of those that you kind of guarantee the combo from. A very nice combo, like the light punches you saw there. So in my opinion, it's one of the better dive kicks to use um, to to uh, get in on characters that don't really have that reliable anti -ass. So like, I know Yurian will probably have struggled with this. Um, and probably other, other characters too. So I feel like it's actually a pretty good dive kick that can be used very reliably. Um, if you know how to space it properly. Uh, that was probably, I could have hit a medium punch with that. But yeah, so that's his medium uh, jump ins. His hard ones, this jump in, like, you don't see it used that much. But in my opinion, it, it's actually... Um, it's a, it's good. It's it the hit hurt bo hitbox is a bit wonky, but it has good priority as far as I found out in playing uh, the game. It has good priority. Can probably beat out some uh, anti air buttons, but the more used one is the hard kick because of the more reliable downwards uh, hitbox. Uh, so it's a it's probably the most used jump in button you'll see for good reason. So yeah. In general, his jump buttons are pretty good. I would say both the hard punch and the hard kick is reliable jumping buttons, but I would say probably more so you'll use the hard kick more often. So that's kind of his uh, normals, if you have to go over them really quickly and where they can be used. Um, then let's move on to his specials. As you saw me do before, he has a tatsu, a bit of a wonky tatsu. That's the thing, like his buttons look a lot like Il Rios, while his specials look a lot like Oni's. Um, his tattoo, I'm not even sure if it goes through power fireballs if I have to be honest, but um, it's mo it's mostly a combo tool. You don't you wouldn't really use this in neutral, very little. It's very desperate in, to use this in neutral. Um, I have tried, it doesn't really work for me. <laughs> um, and as other tattoos, it's very minus. It's hella minus, like minus 9, minus 10, minus 11. Like, yeah, they are very minus even though they don't look the part, but People need to start punishing these because, yeah, they are very minus. So, uh, in general, you mostly see this used in combos and not really anywhere else. Um, then there's this, the fireball, the forward fireball. In my opinion, this is one of the coolest specials this character has. It's a very special fireball, in my opinion. Uh, so, because it is very much more used as a aggressive poke tool uh, than it is as a fireball zoning tool, which is very cool. It's minus two, uh, sorry, plus two on hit and minus three on block. And in general, it's really cool because it's a fireball, it's a projectile, so it has different kind of priorities. So you can't really be you, when you use this, you aren't scared of getting counter hit. And it's just it's a bit further than his medium kick, which is one of his more reliable pokes. Like you know, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, here. Yeah, okay. It's hard kick range, but again, it, they can't dog it. So it's a very good pressure tool for that reason. Just moving forward, slow and steady, and just like doing a few fireballs to really like. Get your opponent with that. I think it's a very good tool with that and a very interesting tool. It really adds to the character's offensive, aggressive rushdown style. Just walking forward using this fireball, your opponent can't really do much. You can't do like I'm doing right now a lot in a row, but just like if you move forward, do one, maybe wait a bit, see if it pokes as a button, with punish the button, something like that. Very good tool for that. Then there's the EX version of the fireball, and as you can see, it's pretty special in its way it knocks down. I I tried to experiment, you know, like. Getting a, uh, getting a, uh, a, a special, you know, and try to dash the other side, but you can't really do that. Instead, it actually is uh, really reliable in like, uh, and you see, it's like kind of, it's kind of hard to get like a good combo with it. Oh. But I found out like uh, a good combo. I actually stole this from someone else I was playing online, so shout out to that guy. Um, you actually get a very reliable combo for like so, and you can get like the high kick tap, the high kick. There we go. To and then, so like as you can see, like I was showing before with like um, this button right here, being very good for fishing with for counter hits with, and this button being a low, you can actually um, very reliably and very safely 
fish with the EX uh, fireball uh, for these kind of heavy knockdown corner carry combos. And Kage doesn't really use his meter for anything else, so in my opinion, this is very good use of his meter. Like, uh, you see, like he's minus two off it. What is he gonna do? And you build that bound really fast, so you know, it's not that uh, big of a risk for a lot of reward. Like, if we get this corner for mid screen, 200 damage not down. That's very good, in my opinion, uh, for one bar spent. So in my opinion, this is a very good use of his meter and a very interesting knockdown property that adds a lot to his footsies, this EX version. Then there's the uh, back fireball. The back fireball is it's not going to win you any fireball war unless the opponent doesn't really know how to play fireball war. But it's good. It can be used. It's just more uh, specialized compared to other fireballs in the game, in my opinion. Um, it's very slow. Like, you have a lot of recovery frames. Look, I'm holding up right now. Look how long it takes... For me to be able to jump it's so much time the opponent has to actually jump it and uh, the same goes for every other one of them like you have so long to jump it i don't think people understand how long they actually have to jump it because the thing is like a real or guile by a fireball or or even sagat so but very unsafe fireball to do like if you see the opponent if you if you see an evil real do the fireball if you see the animation you could jump like you can basically jump before the fireball like when the fireball is leaving his hands, you can jump. So even if you have slow reactions, you can jump in most of the time. Uh, so it's specialized. You need to know how to use it, but it can be used. And of course, if your opponent don't know how bad this fireball is, you can abuse it. It can win you some space if you know if you're standing out here and Gal is start chugging booms, you can do one. Hopefully, you can move in behind it a little bit, get some good space with it. But yeah. Uh, not the best, but can has its use. Also, his his hurt box reels a bit backwards as he starts it up for some reason. So it can actually be hard to hit if he starts doing the uh, fireball. So it can be used kind of close if you're in the corner. Say you're in the corner and you kind of want to get out. It can actually be used to like kind of reel your hurt box back a little bit and then get a knockdown. So that is one way it actually can be used. Um, so that's his hard uh, uh, his backwards fireball. Then he has his trusty DP, uh, again like, it's a nice DP, nice combo DP, um, medium punch DP is a very reliable anti arm as most uh, Shoto's, very reliable, uh, it's my go-to anti arm option, it's very good, uh, very nice anti arm I don't know, that's, that's not much to say about the, um, the DP in my opinion. Then there's the Axe Kick, um, Axe Kick also mostly a combo tool, at least the light and medium punch one, both are minus on block and... Uh, light is minus four, uh, medium is minus two, uh, so my medium is safe, but you are right in that face and you're minus two, so you know, not the greatest thing, but you can survive with it. Then there is the hard, uh, hard kick one, um, that one is uh, plus three, but you can see it's pretty slow. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> uh, it's plus three, so it's pretty slow, but it has its use. Like I would say, like I have been caught D and headlights by it before and just like playing neutral and suddenly just switch it out and now he's in a plus three situation so it is it can be used for that in my opinion and does it pretty well um so i would say it's pretty good in that situation um, and also there is the uh, uh ex1 ex1 overhead version minus eight on block i actually didn't know that i just saw that but yeah minus eight on block but you can also catch people off guard if you need a quick overhead to kill a down back opponent in the corner, it can be used for that. It's not that slow, and it is an overhead, and it does a decent amount of damage if I remember right. Um, yeah, 120 damage, that can definitely kill an opponent uh, if he's down back blocking a bit panicky in the corner. So that's his specials. And the interesting stuff about his specials, as I showed a bit before, is uh, most of them is used, can be used. Like uh, his Tatsu, his Fireball can be used in the air. And um, you can do this thing called a, it's called in the Street Fighter community, the Tiger Uppercut, uh, Tiger, sorry, Tiger Knee, Tiger Knee Motion. Um, but it, it's instant air version of it. So you're like, if you do the fireball and then you press up, up forward, you can get an instant air version. If you don't know, you can do the same with Tatsu. You just do backwards and then you go to up or up forward instead of up back. That doesn't work because you need to jump forward while doing it. So. But it creates this very 
but it, specifically with the Tatsu, as we've seen with some setups already, you can do some pretty nasty stuff uh, with the instant air version. But if it's EX, you can get a cross up. It's plus two, so you don't get anything off it. But there's people that have found setups that make it uh, more than plus two. And it's also good to just catch an easy one on bonus, you know. It's it's. I think it's cute. I think it's cute. And people have found use for it. So I th think that's all his specials. And yeah, let's go up onto combos now, shall we? Okay, let's talk about his combos now. And uh, before we go into like... The general ways how you can get into his combo. Let's start talk about like what is his normal bread and butter when you get a combo hit. What should you be doing? What special mode should you be doing? And uh, Evil Ryu, uh, sorry, Kage in that regard is very uh, straightforward in a lot of ways. He can unlock a lot of very special combos and a lot of ways to use his special moves. I won't go into all that. I said I'm gonna do bread and butter, so you just have some combos you can do do online. Uh, but um, if you try out his trials, um, you can see a lot of potential with his combos. But let's just start. So normally, um, Kage's combos are existent of a Tatsu into a DP. That's like his bread and butter, how you get damage with this character. So like a normal non-EX version would be like a light kick Tatsu into a DP or a medium kick Tatsu into a light DP. That's like the most normal ways to get uh, to get some the special moves combos in the game. Of course, if you get something a bit beefier, I'll tell you how you get those. You can do hard kick tattoo into hard kick DP. I've already shown that combo. I've already shown these combos in during the video, um, so it shouldn't be too surprising. And that's like kind of his bread and butter non EX versions. Uh, uh, how he gets damage. Um, how do you how do you get to these combos? I'm gonna tell you right now. So. As I said before, his lights. If you do, if you get a light in neutral, like you, let's say you're quickly reacting to something, punishing with lights, your free framer, you can do like light, light, very easy, fast uh, combo. Get some pressure, get some damage. You know you're interrupting stuff. Very good light combo to start with. So that's one. If you let's say you're fishing in neutral with your uh, with your medium punches like this, like you, maybe you're going forward like this, maybe you're getting this, um, and you're getting this. Uh, Okay, that way it combos. I was it always confused because it's it's a different way with Urian. But uh, let's say you're getting this, like you're getting this hit confirming neutral. Like you like you see him dashing forward, he dashes into a button, you're reacting with this. Like you can get medium punch charge so off it. So like this into light DP. So that's a way like in neutral, you're yeah, like you're moving back and forward, you see him do stuff. That's max range, so it didn't combo. But uh, yeah. Just uh, in general you can make use of. Uh, if you get a jump in, let's say you're getting a jump in, uh, you can do this. Oh, if you hit it. You see, beefier damage like of cross up. Notice how do you medium punch into hard punch? That's a combo in this game, non counter hit. Very reliable. So that's uh, something you do. Again, if you like, if you uh, have your opponent in a block situation, so let's say, let's say he is uh, random. Let's say he's random and he's he's blocking like that. You can hit confirm it actually, it's like so. You see, pressing your opponent like that. You can get hours to do. I, I can spend hours doing this in neutral. Like oh, it didn't come. I wasn't too slow fast enough. There you go. I can use hours in this. Just moving forward. Oh. Ah damn. I got the hit confirmed still, just too slow. So like, that's uh, some secure ways you can get some uh, damage. Again, uh, that's the more secure ways. So let's say uh, your opponent misses up in neutral. Like, so for now you're noticing like his more uh, guaranteed combo starters in neutral is like his medium punch and his hard punch like for whiff punishes. Um, so that's like how he gets his uh, combo starters going. Um, I showed the EX punch version, you know, like this, into this, also very nice. Uh, I noticed that uh, this actually doesn't combo, so you can't actually do that. It is only from this. I noticed that when I was like, watching back, but yeah, anyway. Um, so let's say your opponent um, gets a... Um, does a unsafe move and you have to punish it and you have a lot of to do with punish. See this, right? 
yeah. I have to talk about Tatsu's a hella unsafe. So let's say we want to punish the Tatsu. Beefier combo. As you notice, I do hard punch, crouch hard punch into hard kick Tatsu, into medium punch that combos, into a medium kick Tatsu, into light DP. So that's some bread and butters. Also, another bread and butter of this is uh, that I like the. This is good because you get your opponent is standing uh, in a minus situation right in your face. So after this, you can actually do a throw, or you can do a midi. So that's why that's good. You see, and I like we can do a midi again, and if he press the button, he can counter hit, or we could go for a shimmy or something like that. So that's why. So that's just like bread and butters, like in terms of combos, okay? Very straightforward. We can then add on some damage. Um, let's say we do... Let's just turn this off real quick. What? Let's say we want to add some meter to it to do some more damage. So like... Um, let's say we do... A jump in. So... That. You preferably want to do it uh, when the opponent's a bit lower to the ground, so... Oh, sorry, I'm too used to the negative one. You see, the further he is to the ground, the more hits you get. So it's about being a bit patient. Oh. Uh, but it, it adds on some more damage if you actually wait and long enough. So that's a way you can do more damage on uh, on your... If you want to be real, like, show-off, you can do stuff like... Um, There we go. You can do stuff like that, but you see it didn't add that much damage. 380 to 360. So like you can do stuff like that. Like his combo system is very um very interesting that way that it's very you can very quickly get a lot of damage in it. So uh, that's some usual bread and butter so you can see with this character as you say. Like there isn't a lot to it, but if you actually try and go into the uh, trials you can actually get a lot of interesting combos with it. But his general combo status is like medium punch, hard punch with punishes. And you usually do it into a Tatsu, into a DP. That's not much to it, to be honest. Okay, let's talk about his cross counter combos then. Uh, this character, as I said, his uh, cross counters is this. Which, like, this does unlock something. Like, hey, if you, but you need to, like, DP. Like, and it's not too much. I think this, this as you saw, like I didn't even think I was in range. That this is a good uh, cross counter finish, fish fishing button. You get like a good, good cross counter combo there. It's uh, oh, so it's like it's that's this is like my go-to cross counter like fishing button. If it's a uh, and also DP punishes. If you have if you're against a Kuma and. Um, and uh, Kennen and Kami, I'm pretty sure, and Kage, I'm pretty sure you can punish with this. So that's like a good reach, uh, like. Uh, but uh, it's a, it's, a, but as I said, it's very slow to get this cross counter and get this cross counter point. So I'm pretty sure it's very few uh, EXDPs you can actually punish with this. I know you can punish Karens with it. Rashid's probably not. Gal, I am not sure of. You can punish Ryus with it. I'm very sure of that. But yeah. I like to just do this. It's pretty safe unless you're right up in their face. Because then you might switch side. But it's a nice, reliable cross counter combo. This, um, And that's what I would go for if you have to punish a EXDP. It might improve in the future. So yeah, that's it for combos. Let's move on to V-Trigger now, shall we? Okay, let's talk about this V system now. When I've been saying V-Trigger this whole time, but I'm actually in the V system. So let's start with the V skill, actually. Um, you already got a small taste for it in the cross counter section, but his V skill is actually pretty inter interesting because it's a, um, it's kind of like a focus attack from uh, Street Fighter 4, where you know, like you charge it up for longer. It doesn't crumble like Street Fighter 4, so it's, a, it's kind of a weak focus attack, actually, uh, in many ways. But it is one. It's a good tool, in my opinion, for going through fireballs. You know, like like you can like kind of anticipate the opponent to do a fireball if you space it right. It's not too unsafe. Like that range, it's not too unsafe because of the pushback and stuff. Um, hard to combo at least. And sorry, my neck is a bit irritated. Um, so that's um, that's one use for it. Of course, you can also fish with it. 
it's minus two if you charge it fully, and it's uh, minus six when it's just a normal hit. If it's normal hit, it's just like that. 60 damage, not much. If it gets charged, and it gets knocked back like so, a 90 damage. Um, not much to it in that regard. So uh, it's 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 good for getting through fireballs, like baiting people, getting a bit of cheap damage. But you don't really like. You need to do V trigger to at least get a bit more of it uh, if you get the hit with that. But uh, it's also really easy to blow up actually if we just like quickly uh, record the uh, dummy. And I don't think people notice it, but uh, you can't you can't do uh, it. Only, it doesn't work on lows. So it's very easy to blow up in that regard. Of course, you can also just like. But it's a bit the end headlight doing the throw to it, and it's a bit more iffy doing that. But like you can you can literally just crouch like uh, crouch medium kick it to counter it. So also very easy to counter in that regard. But it, it still it has its use. It goes through fireballs uh, one by one uh, one hit fireballs. So like it guile boom or stuff like that, which. It's a way to get forward on fireball characters, which this character ca character can struggle against. So that's this uh, V skill. Not useless, very specific use in my opinion, uh, but pretty good. If you move on to his uh, V Trigger One now, uh, I think it have an infinite guard. V Trigger One gives him uh, this teleport. It makes him able to cancel his uh, special moves into stuff, so you like get more fun combos like this. Oh. Like so, like so, like so. Also, can make things safe. So stuff like oh, did not be triggered on. Can make things safe like this. Very broken in my opinion. Takes a lot of his bar, but uh, very broken. He also gets this. So the V skill gets buffed. Plus six. Minus, uh, oh, sorry, zero. So charge version is plus six and uh, zero and zero if not charged. I need to say it's still early, one week in with the character, so uh, V trigger knowledge is still very low. I haven't even played enough with uh, V trigger one, if I have to be honest. I know how it works, I know the, some of the things you can do with it, but I haven't experimented fully with it, just, just so you know. It is still an unexplored area for me. Um, so I only really know the basics of it, but also I've, you know, we all seen this setup around the internet. Um, oh. oh my god! Oh, what the hell? There we go. We all seen this. It's cute. It is cute. Um, but I've already started seeing people blowing it up. I don't even, actually don't even know the combo from that, I'll be honest, but um, yeah, funny things, uh, but I've already seen people blow that up. Like you can, um, at need, I know Yurian can crouch hard punch when he teleports back to the other side after doing the EX Tatsu even on hit. So not, um, still a lot of things to explore, still a lot of things to uh, figure out if it's safe or unsafe to do. Uh, so I'm not really gonna, stick my neck out and show you all kinds of take with it because I don't really know enough but I can like I've shown you like what the V trigger can do in some regards I've seen some fun stuff with it like I know um, like you get like you get a good combo because you don't get hard kicked also from that but you get a good combo from like crumbling like I don't think yeah it's only from the charts one but extend again your plus six on it um, I know it takes a lot of charge. I can just show you that real quick. Like that doesn't take too much. This takes a half a bar. Also, the unchast version takes half a bar. So, like that's this V trigger one. In a nutshell, um, if you want to find more tech, there's already people like on Twitter and stuff exploring it, showing more tech for it. I'm not the guy for that. Sorry, this is a quick overview showing what his moves are like and such. I can't really show you much with it. But let's move on to the V-Trigger I've actually played a lot with um, so far. And that's the V-Trigger too, because in my opinion, it's the easier robbery V-Trigger. If you're just starting out learning Kage, this is a really good V-Trigger, because it's a very quick way to get a lot of cheap damage. So like, just if you look into this, that's 
200 damage of a low. Right. Like it's 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 very good in that regard in my opinion. Uh, you get two tries with it. It is uh, minus two on blocks, so it's safe. And you opponents just have a really hard time to avoid it for that reason. You get some beefy combo things, so like you can do like uh, just see how much more damage it adds to these uh, combos that is just like 150 becomes 100 extra damage because of the V trigger. And it does a hard knockdown. He's on quick recovery right now, I think. No recovery. Quick. It's a hard knockdown. So it's very guaranteed when the opponent's gonna get up, which leads to you can actually do this very cheap setup with it where that combos. Um, and your opponent can't really avoid it because it's a hard knockdown, so they're gonna wake up with that specific timing. So it's kind of a guess slash reaction thing they have to deal with at that moment. So I think that's pretty good. And of course in V-Trigger 2 he also get his demon. Very cool demon in my opinion. Very very cool demon in my opinion. Um, you have to use all your bomb for it of course. And it's a very special demon that in, it's hit confirmable. So you see 2. Uh, it combos and it's hit confirmable like that and it does a lot of damage. So like let's say like um Oh Ah damn you can actually do it mad late Oh damn um. ah. It's not it's not that easy but you know, it's just practice. There we go. Um, yeah. Hit confirmable. You can combo with it. Very cheap in my opinion. Very cheap damage to get in my opinion. Um, what else? Oh, right. This, uh, this V-Trigger also unlocks that you can do X-Kick combos. Um, one of the trials shows it. So, like, you can do this. So like, for a lot of damage, um, 500 damage, kind of insane. Um, you can't uh, V-Trigger cancel the uh, the um, X-Kick unless you're in V-Trigger 2. So that's kind of the V-Trigger 2. Very easy to use, a lot of robbery factor, very easy damage, extra damage to get that can help with your comeback. Like, your opponent can't really react to it, so you can kind of fish with it in neutral. Like, you know, you see your opponent throwing a fireball, throw it out there. If it hits, you get a lot of damage. If it misses, you, uh, you're you safe and stuff like that. Like, just very easy, abusable V-Trigger. Um, V-Reversal. Let's just go out real quick, shall we? It didn't look anything special to me when I did it. Yeah. It doesn't look to be anything special in my opinion. Um, don't really see a reason for it to use it. Like, it's it's it looks pretty fast actually. Yeah, that punish is the medium punch. It's actually decent. Didn't actually expect this. It's pretty fast actually. Okay, so he also has a pretty decent V reversal apparently, and that's kind of it for his V-Triggers for now. Again, sorry, I know probably people really want to know more about his V-Trigger and how to use them, but it's still very early with these characters and it's very unexplored. They might be future, I might do a future video really exploring his V-Trigger 1 and V-Trigger 2 if this gets any traction, if you guys really want to see it, I can do it, um, but it's going to be down the road. Uh, so yeah, that's that's Kage in my opinion. Uh, that's that's an overview of Kage and the tools he has and how he has, how he can be used in my opinion. Um, one last thing uh, I forgot to talk about in the video is um, his movement speed. Um, he has a hella good dash in my opinion. This dash is uh, 16 frames forward. It's a very slipped on forward dash. It's very good in my opinion. But um, like just 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 look very good forward dash in my opinion. And besides that, you probably want to hear my opinion on the character here at the end. And in my opinion, he is a harder character to use. In my, like, uh, let's just turn it off. 
accidentally pressed the button. Um, he's a harder character to use because of his low HP and fast movement speed. A newer player to the series uh, might walk himself to the corner very easily, might take a lot of damage because he doesn't know how to end here. You need to be kind of on point with your fundamental parts, so like you need to be able to medium punch DP or at least cross hard punch. Like, like if you trade NTS, it's most likely not going to be in your favor. Um, but besides that, like also stopping normals, probably newer players won't have an easy time with that. But I'm also always been a preacher of if you want to play a character, you should play the character. So um, play him if you want to. I think he's a strong character, and I think if I don't think you should be scared of the character being low tier because I don't think Kage is going to be a low tier character. I think I don't I don't I don't want to say top tier. I don't want to see top ten. I don't want to say top ten, but. Uh, at least a mid tier. He can. This guy, if a good player picks him up, he can get high rank with him. The character isn't gonna hold you back. Let's say it like that. And I think people want to hear that. That's my opinion of him. Uh, he's a cool character. He is a really cool mix of Oni and Yurio, and I'm actually very happy with him. Capcom. I don't like his uh, music theme. Uh, not my kind of vibe. But you know, you can't get everything. He's cool. And he is worth picking up as a main. I don't think I'm going to be dropping you in for him. But I can definitely say if you have been having a character crisis, try picking up this character. He's actually really fun. Uh, and that's it for this week video. I know this was a bit, something a bit different, but still in the same vibe of what I do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time.